Beyond 5.0 is here, and with it brings a new licensing and registration system. Beyond has traditionally required connection of licensed Pangolin hardware, FP3 or FP4 controllers connected for Beyond to open. This is changing slightly, and now Beyond will open without connected hardware in a demo state, where laser output and saving is disabled. For Beyond to leave demo mode to output and save, you must have an active license. This could be the old school hardware licenses, or any of our new ways to license Beyond, which we'll cover in a moment. This also means there is no longer a demo version of Beyond, and there is only one version to download and use for all purposes. The first main step is the registration aspect of this new system. Registration is a check-in for hardware. This means to ensure the connected hardware is genuine, and to see if the hardware has been marked as lost or stolen. As a note, when you purchase a new piece of hardware from Pangolin, write down the serial numbers. If stolen, we may be able to recover the hardware in the future. Registration is done automatically if your PC is connected to the internet. If you are not connected to the internet, hardware that is yet to be registered will have a 7-day grace period where they will work, but at the end of the 7-day grace period, registration will be needed for the hardware to continue operating. If you wish to keep your PC permanently offline, we have added a way to do so, which will cover how it is done in a bit. The second main step in this new system is licensing. If you have a classic license purchased before the release of 5.0, we have notated your license in our server. When you connect your hardware and run 5.0 for the first time, it will attempt to register. If registration is successful, the server will see your licensed hardware and return a new license file to the PC with the registration file. No need to worry about the .bmp files of previous versions. While we have made every best effort to collect every license file over the past 10 years and put them in the server, we may have missed a few, so if a piece of hardware's license isn't recognized with the server, email support at pangolin.com with the old .bmp license file and the serial number of your hardware and it will get you going. We've also added multiple new ways to license beyond. Hardware licenses are similar to the old system of licenses, except you will get a code from the Pangolin website after purchase to use in beyond to activate the license. Internet licenses are an account-bound license, which do not require connection to hardware and can be moved between computers. This obviously requires a connection to the internet to use. Lastly, we have PCID licenses. This license type is bound to a specific PC, and if that PC is lost, stolen, broken, or changed too much, like motherboard change, the license will be destroyed. It is non-transferable and volatile. However, it offers the lower price and convenience with no need for hardware or internet. Changing the PC means that small changes like RAM upgrades or added hard drives will not affect this license, but if you change your CPU, motherboard, your C drive, or if you change your Windows copy, your PC will change enough for the PCID license to become deactivated. There is also now two types of license timeframes, perpetual licenses, which mean they have a one-time purchase and forever license, as Pangolin licenses have traditionally been, and now rental licenses by the month or year. These can be any type of license, hardware, internet, or PC ID, and expire after their time limit. The rental license is useful if you just need features for a specific show or want to try new features out. It also is useful if a price for a perpetual license is too much up front. Now that we know what's new and what's changed, let's take a look at how to interact with the registration and licenses in Beyond using the new Registration and License Manager window. Let's go to see this new tab. Under Registration, click Registration and License Manager. This new window is where you'll be manage your registration and licenses. On the first tab, you'll see the status of many parts of your Beyond system. The first part is your access to Beyond, the version, if output is enabled, and if file saving is enabled. Output is disabled 40 minutes after a license goes missing, and file saving is disabled two weeks after a license goes missing as a grace period for hardware licenses. This is the same as previous versions of Beyond. The next part is listing all hardware licenses active, this may be licenses that you had before 5.0 and may and any that you may have added recently. Under internet licenses, you can see any internet license that is in use on this computer. Under computer, you'll see the data on this PC, its name, the build of beyond, and if the data is correct, which is used for verification of licenses and registration. Under registration, you'll see if registration is found on the PC. Under external license files, you'll see all licenses beyond finds that are classic .bmp files that may still be on the PC. Lastly, under Hardware, you will see Hardware, which lists connected output hardware, and if they are genuine and good to go. Any of these may have things like a yellow pause icon, an orange exclamation point, or a red X, for example. All these issues are generally solved by registration if all licenses are in order and hardware is genuine. Next is the Registration tab. Here you can either manually register online if automatic registration failed, or select Register by email. Use Register by email if you wish to keep this PC offline permanently. Enter your name and email if you'd like, and click Register by email. 
This will create a file, save this on your computer, and transfer it to a separate computer which is connected to the internet. Email this file to activate at pangolin.com, and within a few minutes you'll see a response with an attached registration file. Move this registration file back to your show PC. Then select Open Registration File from the drop-down and open the file. This will complete your registration. The last tab is for managing your licenses. The first drop-down is for managing internet licenses. Here you can log into your account and see any licenses on that account. You can start use of a license which will activate it on this PC. You can also stop use to release the license to be used elsewhere. For internet licenses, there is an offline grace period you can set. Click Edit to select these options. Here you can change the name of the license if you'd like and change the refresh period. The refresh period is the time frame between when your internet license needs to check in with the internet to be refreshed. Short time spans are convenient for moving licenses around and navigating between computers. Longer times are more convenient for traveling shows, but will be locked to this PC when offline. So if the PC is lost, stolen, or broken, the server will still have that licensed PC bound, and you won't be able to access that license until the refresh period ends. There's more about this in our manual on the Registration and License Manager. The next drop-down is where you can add new internet licenses. Be sure to log into the account you want to add licenses to and insert your code to this line and redeem online. This will add the license to your account, which you can see in the Manage Internet License drop-down. Next is the Add New Hardware License Online. Use this to add hardware licenses while connected to the internet. Enter your code, select the hardware you'd like to bind the license to in the drop-down, and redeem online. Next is Add New Hardware License by Email. This is if you want to register a new hardware license without the internet. Enter your name, email, license code, and select which hardware you want to bind to. Click Redeem by Email. This will create a file. Follow the same process for registering offline from before for redeeming this license. Next is Add New PC ID Licenses. For PC ID licenses, you just want to enter the code and redeem online, and it will bind that license to the specific PC. PC ID licenses can only be redeemed online. Last is Upgrade License Online. Here you can upgrade perpetual licenses of all types. Once you put the code in the box, upgradable licenses will be listed below. Select the license you would like to upgrade and click Redeem Online. The final thing to look out for, in the bottom left corner of Beyond, you will see a new icon with three colored bars. These are part of the new registration system and mean the following. The top line indicates connection to the internet, specifically Pangolin servers. Red means no connection, yellow means connection problems, unlikely but possible if the server is busy, and green means service is connected and available. The middle line indicates registration status. Red means missing registration, yellow means registration found but incorrect in some way, and green means registration found and correct. Quick Beyond will be fully functional. The bottom line is unused currently for Beyond 5.0 and indicates a future connection. At release of 5.0, this status indicator being red is normal. This new system offers a lot of security and convenience, with many added options for licensing of Beyond. We hope this new workflow enables you to have more confidence when working with licenses and Beyond. There's a lot of supporting documents related to the new 5.0 registration and licensing system, including FAQ, manuals, and guides. Check them out in the description and on our wiki at wiki.pangolin.com. As well, and as always, thank you for watching this quick hints video on the new registration and licensing system. If you have any questions or need help with any of these new features, feel free to contact support at pangolin.com, or if you need help deciding which license type is right for you, contact sales at pangolin.com. Thank you for watching, and we hope you enjoy the new features in Beyond 5.0.